Dixon does it again. Um, I'm doing, see that tub? See there's no shower? They make a kit for that. I'll show you how to put it. I'm gonna show you how to do something this time. They make a kit for that. All right, so in order to have the shower on a claw foot tub, you need water to spoop out the top. So we gotta get rid of this, and it's not that hard. You've got two pipes coming up, and they just, you know, twist on there, doop, doop, and they're flanged at the end, so they shove right in there, and then the tighter you get it, the more it presses in and flanges in there. And in order to get these off, it was just a little thumb screw. You put your wrench on there, boop, take it off. This one was being kind of tough, so he's been a tough guy. I put the wrench on there, and I took the hammer, and I gave it a couple of impacts. Pop, 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 just the taps, you know, get get the impacts going and loosen it up. There's a little bit of green in there, so once I get past the green, it should just unthread off. But right now I've got my, my channel locks. These are the Vice Grip brand. They're not channel locks. They're spanners, I think they call I don't know what they're called, but I call them channel locks. Whatever. So I'm going to get those off, and then we'll show you what's next. We got it off. Here it is. That's where the water was coming out. It's really crusty. It's a good thing I got it off of there. The cats are drinking out of it. Didn't, that's like not even green. That's like teal blue. Like what people think sea turtle color is, which it's really not. So yeah, it's a good thing I took this off. I mean, it still worked. It dripped a little bit. Maybe... The gaskets were starting to go. If I would have just changed the gaskets, who knows? But I mean, like, I've got one top and for cold, and who knows what that is? Maybe it's lukewarm. I don't know. Let's find the new one. So here's the new one. Shiny! And it's got the little lever. You pop that up, peep, peep, and then it makes the water shoot out the top instead of out of here, like on a normal shower. And then we'll hook up our tubing to that. This is just the same as the reverse. Plug it in there, thread those on, and attach our pipes. Our pipes will just fit right in there, which that's pretty cool. You might need an adapter if you're going on. What is this crap inside of here? I don't know. Just casting, I guess. But yeah, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to clean this up real good, just so there's no dirt in there. Always clean up your surfaces. When you do your demo, demo. Get it out of there. Who cares if you screw things up? And then clean it really good. That way we've got a nice working surface. All right, so let me throw this on there. So shiny. So shiny. Oh. So yeah, I got that on. So this is cast iron. Ding, 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 ding. Bong, bong. So when I put my threads on, I tighten them, but I'm not trying to crack the cast iron. You, you're not gonna, cr you're not gonna crank on these things, okay? Don't crank on them, or else now you're calling somebody for a new bathtub, and it's not gonna be as purdy as this. It, really, it's just holding this on. It's not about. It's not gonna leak. Those threads are not the leaky thread things. These, on the other hand, boop. These you want to crank on there. So, you line it up, plop it in, thread it on, go to town, and you can just crank on those, and because it's brass, it's going to form fit to it. Even the old stuff's brass. See, it looks like a, uh, yeah, it's brass, so it'll squeeze in there, it'll fit the form. If you get a leak, crank a little harder, that's all. If you get a leak after that, and it just keeps leaking, uh, turn the water off and maybe get some new things to put on there. Yeah, that's what I would do. All right, so I'm gonna put those on. So I ran into an issue. What, an issue? Hooking up new stuff to old stuff? Oh my Lord. Yeah, this one didn't want to go on. I had this one nice and cranked on there. It was good to go. But this one, it's like pitched just a little up. 
so it wouldn't go in there, it wouldn't thread. So what I ended up doing was loosening, so I had a little bit of move on it, you know, I got some move on it. So yeah, and I didn't, I didn't give up, I just like stopped, stop, grab a beer, think. I thought, and I said, oh, well, let me just move it around. Now it's got some move to it. I'm going to crank these down. I'm going to crank these down. And then we're on to the next thing. Hey, there's my hand. All right, so we've got a long straight piece. We've got a connector here, which has rubber, rubber gasket. Can you see it? Rubber gaskets inside on either end. So you don't need thread tape you don't need thread dope I don't know because there was no instructions that's fine and then this long straight piece threads on to this candy cane and on the candy cane is going to go our little nozzle but before that there's this big old doodad thing if you put your nozzle on you're not going to be able to get this on so it's going to go through that center hole and then the halo around the top where your shower curtain with the kitty cats on it that's going to hook up to these ends and then there's a little threaded hole here for threaded rod to hang off the ceiling i don't know if the threaded rod they gave me is long enough because i've got nine foot tall ceilings so i may need to just go buy some all thread what is that that's just a turd anyways we're going to put this on there before we put anything else on. Now, this is the crappy little shower head that comes with the kit. It's going to work, not for long, but you can always replace it with something else. There is a rubber gasket inside here too. So you don't need thread, tape, or dope for any of this. If you want to double down, go ahead and put it on there. You ain't going to hurt nothing, but this is plastic. So don't crank too tight on it. All right, let's put this stuff together. Um, I told you what I'm doing. I guess I don't have to show you. I only have two hands. I need like a stand or something for my, oh, I'm talking too much. So this does not screw right on there. It's kind of big, but there was extra parts. Always wonder why there's extra parts. So this is threaded on the inside and on the outside. And because there's no rubber in between here, I will be putting a little bit of Teflon tape and maybe some pipe dope. All right. Okay, everybody. This is what finally ended up happening. I got leaks and leaks and leaks. So I went and got some stainless steel braided line, three quarter, fits right on there. And it's got rubber gasket in it, so nice tight seal. It goes down into the basement where I soldered on three-quarter male ends. And I put shutoffs down there, so now I can shut off my water, which is always a good thing to do. Let me move this carpet. All right, so, like I said, this threaded right in. It had a rubber gasket. This little coupling here had a, two rubber gaskets rolled right in. And then here, just a little screw, just to tighten these up, two screws tightens these on. And then because I have nine foot ceilings and not eight foot like they assumed with the threaded rod they gave me, I had to go down to my local orange box store and find a three foot threaded rod, which screws into the bottom here, screws in up there. Yeah, I had to cut it and then zip into the ceiling, which it caught, which was nice. And then they give you the little tiny one with the little, oh, make sure you put this on and slide it around before you connect this. Cause yes, I did. I connected this and then had to disconnect it so I could slide this all the way around, thread that into the ball end, thread that into there. Those did not go into the wall. They went in its drywall. So I had to put some drywall anchors in there and then put those in there. I put a level on it and made sure it was all nice and level. Does it work? And lift. 
And we got water. Yay. So, now my hand's wet. So that's how you install it, and those are the issues that you're gonna come across, and those are the fixes that you could probably come across. Sometimes it'll just connect right in, sometimes it won't. They do sell the new connections. They're like, you can buy gaudy ones for like a hundred and some odd dollars. You can cheap out and buy the $30 ones. But this tub's gonna need to move because you see this floor, you know all the work I need to do. I mean, what's under the trash can? There's a hole. That's where they, you know, because you need that big of a hole. I got, I got a size 11 foot. That's a big hole. All right. That was for the shower that was here that we took out. Oh, why didn't I show you taking out the shower? Because all I did was rip it off the wall. But yeah, that's how you put in a cloth foot tub shower uh, thing, I guess. Yeah. All right, see you next time on Dixon Does It. Yeah.